So hey everybody and welcome to the channel. As always, thanks for stopping by and hanging out for a few. My name is Rich, I'm the channel host, and hey, today we're talking about building a cheap drone mapping system. So one of the things that I hear a lot is how can I start into doing drone mapping and modeling? And is this gonna break the bank on me? Okay, people don't say break the bank, but I get the question all the time for low cost solutions for doing mapping and modeling, 2D mapping and modeling. And you know, how can people get into this? Because as you start looking into drone mapping and modeling, the prices can mount up. But maybe you're very new to this. You've seen on this channel and on other channels uh, information about doing drone mapping and modeling. You'd really like to get into it, but you start seeing some of the price tags and those price tags start hurting. Maybe it's the drone costs and that's kind of outside of it because you're going to need some kind of drone that you can do image capture with. But the bigger question that everyone has, because usually when they get in touch, they've already got a drone and they want to start utilizing that drone. So how can they get into it? They start looking around at licensing for things like Pix4D and Metashape, AutoCAD Recap, and suddenly they're spending thousands of dollars on licensing, in some cases per year, in some cases on a single license. So once you get the license, you're all set to go. But when people start looking at it, they get discouraged. And one of the things we like to uh, do here at AZ Drone is we like to do presentations for beginners. So if you're just starting out in this, maybe you've taken a couple online classes on wanting to do uh, drone mapping and modeling. Maybe you've seen examples of other people's mapping and modeling. Maybe you've seen some of the final products that we give to our clients from our See My Build website. Whatever the case may be, however you've gotten an interest in this, I don't want you losing your interest just because you're a beginner. There are low cost solutions. There are ways to allow you to actually do drone mapping and modeling at a reasonable cost. So number one, what kind of system am I gonna need? Well, when we go and look at some of the um, companies out there like Metashape and Pix4D, it sounds like we need some pretty high end systems. And it, actually, if you are just learning you do not need to get the highest end system out there. Now, right now we're looking at an ortho mosaic image shot from one of my client job sites recently. And this image was rendered on the machine that we're recording on right now. And the machine that we're recording on right now is what I've been using for my mapping and modeling for a little over a year now. I picked up this system in February of 2021 with a couple of intentions. I wanted to do video editing. I wanted to do photo editing. I wanted to put together some of these classes on this system. What I didn't realize right away, but I found out pretty quickly, was that I could actually use this same low-cost system for running Metashape and running WebODM, which is an open source drone mapping program. So what is the system that I am currently running? It's one of the Mac M1 Minis. So not the latest Mac Studio. We're talking about the really small Mac Minis with the M1 chip. Let's go ahead and minimize this image. And as I quickly mentioned, WebODM is one of our low cost solutions. WebODM allows us to generate two dimensional and three dimensional models from the images we capture with our drones. And We've just got this up on screen for a moment to show you WebODM is in fact running on this Mac Mini. And if you can't tell, I've been doing some models recently. Now, this system isn't a high powered system. We're gonna talk about the system in just a few moments, but it can do smaller drone models for us. As a matter of fact, I'm just gonna click here on WebODM for this Sky Ranch that we made. And right here, you can see that 336 images were used to make this model. Now that's not a small number of images. We covered a large area. We actually covered a 20 acre area with a ranch that was being developed um, for horses. So when I click on this, we can actually take a look at the map and at the ortho model here. And what I'm gonna do is flip this over to none for the base maps, just so that you can see. What kind of model did we create? Well, let's take a zoom on in here and let's let the computer catch up with us because right now we're recording on OBS, we're running web ODM, and we have several other applications up in the background as well. So there's a lot going on on this machine right now. 
But as we can see, this modeled area, this mapped area has actually come out very nicely. And we can export it to multiple formats. We can export the 3D model as well. So if we're just learning how to do drone mapping and modeling on this low-end Mac Mini system the, with the M1 chip in it, you can actually generate some really nice maps. By the way, let me go ahead and click on the 3D here just so that you can see. We even have our 3D point cloud. We can do our textured model once again, all on this Mac Mini M1. So this machine was just purchased to do video and create like this video that you're seeing right here. But what I've found, fortunately, is that it can be used for a lot more. And if you're just doing small models, just learning about models, this is a great way to start in. So now we're looking at the 3D model of the same ranch property as well. And we can actually do our zoom in, zoom out. Uh, we can export this model for sharing on something like Sketchfab or other locations. You can also take the data from this model and feed it into other modeling software. So on this small low-end machine, you are seeing it firsthand, real time. Now, let's take a look at creating this cheap platform for ourselves. So I've got a bunch of tabs up here uh, on my Google Chrome browser, Chrome browser just to show you. Customize your Mac Mini. So for Mac fans out there, you might be thrilled to pieces saying, hey, I can do this with a Mac. For the Windows folks out there, hey, you can still do a lower end system, I'm sure, for Windows as well. But I'm just finding a lot of value in the setup that I've created with this, and that's why I'm sharing it today. So we went with the base model. So the base model was, um, let me see here. Uh, we had an eight core CPU, eight core GPU, 16 core neural engine, eight gigs of RAM. That's not a lot of RAM. We'd like to see more if we could. But once again, I did not intend to use this as a mapping and modeling system. This was supposed to be my multimedia system. Hey, it can do more than one trick. That's great. We went with the 256 gigs of storage. There are ways around that. But um, let's scroll down here. So there's that eight gigs of unified memory, 250, uh, 256 gigs of storage. Uh, we had the gigabit ethernet. And we didn't ask them to pre-install any of the software. We already had some of the software. So here's what's in the box. You're going to need a mouse and you're going to need a um, keyboard for sure. But you probably have one of those lying around. And the total price of this is $699. That's a pretty low cost solution. All right. What I'm going to do here is we're going to pull up a little Excel sheet that I made for you. So here is my list for this system, and then we'll go take a look at the rest of the soccer. The Mac Mini M1, okay, $699, um, $700 bucks plus tax. We also purchased a Samsung portable SSD, two terabyte drive. I've actually got two of those um, for doing my work because you get a lot of images, you get a lot of video when you're doing drone work. Uh, Map Pilot Pro is actually for the drone flight, so we're really not covering the drone flight drone costs. You can find drones as low as $500 that you can actually do mapping and modeling with. And we'll talk about that momentarily as well. So you could pick your favorite flight app and most likely you've already got your drone. So you're already partway there. If you're not already partway there, right up above me, there's an info card. Click that info card and you can see our longer course about um, actually doing this on a budget. So over at classes.azdrone.net, We've got multiple classes over there to help get you started into this. So next one, Web ODM. You just saw Web ODM in action. We actually did create models with it. We created models with more than 300 images, which for a lot of our use cases is probably going to cover it, especially if you're doing smaller construction sites. Web ODM is a one-time fee of $57. I also included Photoshop and Lightroom in here. There are other photo editing platforms out there as well. But basically, it comes down to $120 a year for their subscription. You can pay monthly. You can pay yearly. QGIS is one of the next ones that we have in here. And that is an open source uh, GIS platform. So we utilize that for offloading some of our data and our geotiffs for sharing with our clients. We also use that for pre-planning our flights. OBS I included here because you're watching me on OBS right now. This is recorded on OBS. It's the open broadcast um, system. 
and it is open source, just like most everything else. And while we're talking about it, since you're doing photos, most likely, you're probably doing videos as well. That has nothing to do with mapping and modeling. But you can get a hold of DaVinci Resolve today, which is a high-end video editing program that's used by a lot of pros globally. And you can start up with DaVinci Resolve for zero dollars. It's our video editing. So the price of everything that has come together here, $1,175.99. And some of these things you could skip. So maybe you don't want Photoshop and Lightroom. So you could take that right out of there. Maybe you don't need as much drive space as I go through. So maybe you only need one terabyte. The price can come down there. But let's face it. This is a sub $2,000, sub $1,500 system that you can actually practice your mapping and modeling on today. I don't think you can beat that, but uh, I'm sure I will have people say, yes, you can beat that. And by the way, down in the comments below, please, if you've made a really cool window setup for doing your mapping and modeling at a low cost and reasonable cost, please leave it in the comments below. We're not biased to Windows or Mac. We'll use whatever works for us to get our jobs done. That's the important part. And the big part here is you want to get modeling with drones. So there we go. Sub 1200. Oh, after tax, we'll go over 1200. Let's go ahead and minimize that really quick. So the first thing that we saw was that Mac Mini, but I just wanted to show you through here. So over on Samsung's website, we've got their information on their two terabyte portable drives. Like I said, I've got two of those listed at 250, but you will often see these on sale at Best Buy and other locations for 200. Uh, I think I've seen one once for 189, but um, you can find, find sales on these. Next one over, Maps Made Easy. We utilize that along with several other flight apps. Like I said, this is a flight app that helps you capture your images for your drone models. So that is $50 a year. I signed up to their $50 a year subscription. By the way, for those of you who are also asking the question, the Air 2, the Air 2S, and the Mini 2 are now officially supported by Maps Made Easy. So that means that other vendors of flight apps have probably gotten the software developers kit as well. And that means that if you have a favorite uh, drone flight app that you'd like to use, most likely you can now use it uh, with the Air 2, Air 2S, and Mini 2. Um, next one over, here we go. Let's go into the download of Web ODM. So you can download Web ODM completely and totally for free, but you're going to have to know how to do some command line stuff. Rather than do that, since, you know, you're probably just wanting to get into your mapping and modeling, you can actually choose an installer from them and they have a pre set up installer for you. So you can buy it for Windows or Mac, $57. Um, the one-time larger business license, um, which if you're just getting into this and just looking into building um, your mapping and modeling system, most likely you're not at the point where you need to worry about the business license from them at the moment. All right, let's go on to the next one. OBS Studio, what we are recording on today, what you are seeing me talking to you right now, not live, but recorded, um, has been generated by OBS. So Fantastic application. If you want to start doing YouTube videos, you need to be on screen, you want to do tutorials, OBS is going to be one of your better solutions. There are pay for solutions out there as well, but OBS is on par with them. All right. Finally, DaVinci Resolve. I wanted you to see this. So even though um, we're not really talking about video and photography editing, DaVinci Resolve is a free download and free use. If you need their higher end studio with some of the extra features, you can also buy DaVinci Resolve as well. All right, so let's take a look one more time, shall we? So I'm just pulling this one back up one more time. Now, one of the things you could do if you had a couple more dollars to spend is you could get the Next Step Up uh, Mini, and you could also get it up to 16 gigs of RAM instead of 8 gigs of RAM. One of the things you should know, Web ODM likes RAM a lot. The more RAM you have, the more Web ODM can do for you. With that in mind, maybe getting that 16 gig version would be a good idea for you. Let's go back over to the uh, Mac page really quick. I'm going to arrow myself on back here and let's take a look at the difference. So they do have a higher end Mac mini. It does give you a little more storage. So 512 gigs of storage versus the 256 I'm using. Um, it starts at 899 
But let's say that we wanted that 16 gigs of RAM instead. We are now looking at a price point of $1,099 for this particular one. And I can tell you that that additional RAM is going to make a big difference. So basically, let's take a look here. We're going from $700 to $1,100. Now, one other thing I should mention to you, this is once again about getting up quickly and doing it on the cheap. The newest Macs to come out, the new Mac Studios that have just come out, starting at $2,000, are offering a little bit more. The lowest end version has 32 gigs of RAM, has some more cores as well, um, it has the 512 gigs of storage space. But if we're just looking to go for the low end cost and a platform that will let you start mapping and modeling and learning about what you're doing today, I, I can really say for a fact, I have been more than impressed with this Mac Mini M1. And I think you would be as well. If you look through this channel here, all of our tutorials, all of the mapping that we've done, all of the sharing that we've done since February of 2021 has been done on this little system. All right, everybody, we're gonna wrap this one up. So I wanted to share this with you. Once again, Windows users out there, if you've got a good um, intro solution, for other drone operators um, where they can run web ODM and start practicing their mapping and modeling, please let us know down in the comments. And by the way, one last thing to note, I am also still a Metashape user. And with that in mind, I just wanted to let you know there is Metashape Pro. I can in fact run Metashape Pro on this Mac Mini M1 as well. Um, it runs as quickly as WebODM does in most situations, unless you're going to super high res. And so I have not run into any issues. The largest model that I have run on Metashape on this system was 500 and some change images from a very large property that was a raw land site getting ready for build. So once you're feeling comfortable and you feel like you've got things down with WebODM, you can try one of the higher end applications like Metashape. And just keep in mind, Metashape's software license is $3,500. So learning on WebODM for $57 for their package um, before you migrate into one of those higher end packages might be a great idea for you. All right, everybody, I hope you found this one informative, helpful, and got you thinking about possibilities. So you definitely do not need to break the bank on this at all and you can come in with a low-end solution for yourself um, to get going. Like I said here, this, uh, this 3D modeling area and this 2D modeling area was generated right here on this computer from an actual client location that we've been working with for coming up on two full years now as they're getting their uh, ranch completed. And we use this in our regular day-to-day. -day. I just ran this one yesterday. It's for a new sports complex out in Prescott Valley, and we needed to just get an idea, an ortho mosaic of where some fields were gonna be going, and then we're gonna be documenting this new build out as well. So there you have it, a low cost solution that's basically keeping you under $1,500. Even if you went to the higher end Mac mini solution with the 16 gigs of RAM and the 200, or I'm sorry, 512 gigabytes of storage. All right, everybody, ponder it for a few. Think about it and then investigate for yourself. We'll see you again real soon.